Okay, Matthew, um, good result today. Yeah. Happy with the performance, all of it? Yeah, performance, clean sheet is, you know, is what we're asking for. Um, all right, we want to win every game, of course, but we know it's difficult. Balmain are on a good run, three wins. We're on back of three defeats. Um, so today was all about how we applied ourselves and take it from there. And certainly, I thought I thought we, we were good all over the pitch. I thought we looked organised. I thought we looked back to our energetic selves. We competed for everything, headers, you know, tackles. I just thought we looked... Yeah, we, we looked back to what I know what we are. We have to park the last three weeks because of everything that's happened that basically reflects on the results for me um, I don't I didn't say that to the players and obviously I didn't say that to you guys last week because I was annoyed and we've just been beaten and, and I was hurt you reflect on things you go home and, and I went back to the players on Monday and I said look I'm not retract some of the things but I do retract the, the fact that I thought you didn't try because I think they did try the running stats were there they just couldn't do what we needed them to do. They didn't have the physical energy to get about. Where today I looked at them and went, we do. We looked there, you know, we looked hungry. Look, there's things we can improve on, certainly. But overall today, yeah, I'm, I'm more than pleased. Certainly because it's a clean sheet and it's something that we've been striving for all season. But if you look at the game as well, Portadown probably came out with the better chances in the match as well to, to, to yeah. sort of take that lead. Like in, in a strange way, it's probably, I, I don't say we dominated the game because I certainly don't think we did, but I certainly think it was, we imposed ourselves more on them than we have maybe any other game this season. Um, we did create crosses in the box and Lee got on the end of a couple of headers. I know they went straight to keep another day, they go in and, and that's the way it is. And certainly when you think there's 10, 15 minutes to go, could we commit more bodies into the box? And we got a couple flashed across the goal and I get that. Um, three years ago when I took over as manager, I probably would have been sending an extra forward on. Sometimes you have to realise where we're at. You know, we're a young team, we've got young lads in. Let's just keep what we've got. Let's defend, be brave and see can we see the game out then and it, it doesn't mean we weren't trying to win in the last 15 minutes, what I mean is be protect what you've got and be strong with that because I certainly thought we had enough on the counter. Yeah and the first half as well, the players had to deal with losing their leader as well. Can yeah. you give any update on how he is? It doesn't look great, obviously he's stretched it off if anyone was watching the stream you know and, and that's never a great sign, Chris has had an initial look at him and we don't know, look we're in tomorrow um, in preparation for Tuesday's game hopefully you know another period it might have settled down and, and you know we hope and pray that it's only an impact injury and it's just a knock doesn't look like that in a minute but look I'm no doctor or physio so well trust Chris and, and see what he uh, can see off it tomorrow yeah, and you're meant to be pleased with the reaction to uh, Paddy going off like that yeah got him, uh, look if you look at Adam McCallum he comes on there and, and, I, and I singled him out I don't often do that um, maybe I should start more because they're actually a good bunch of lads but I did single him out and said it's never easy coming on, you know, in the first half, certainly, you know. And generally, you make subs on the attacking side and people can come on and, and maybe get a shot off and nobody... But she's a centre-half, I think, you know, I would be worried, but I was never centre-half, probably because I was worried whenever I went back. But what I mean is he's coming on and he has to get to the pace of the game quickly and the sharp front, um, you know, the, the two boys, big Joe McCready's a big, powerful fella and Paul McElroy drops into pocket. It's, I thought Adam dealt with them both brilliantly. And do you know what? He showed something... A leadership side to him today. He was organising us, moving people around the pitch, and and I think we we lack that the odd week. You know, I do. I certainly think he came in, and possibly because he doesn't look as graceful as the others, I underestimate him. And then I, when he plays, I go home raving about him. You know, and last year he was pretty unlucky because every time he seemed to get in the team, he got injured. So now we hope. Performance like that, he stays in the team and he sustains it because I was really, really pleased with him. Yeah. Cabal Hilly as well, making his debut. Yeah. You know, and I chatted to him coming off the pitch and he was man of the match and I was delighted again for him. And Dave actually praised him. He said, Don't forget, Kevin's made his debut and he'd done really well. And I was chatting to him and I said, How do you find it? You know, and he said, That's the first game of real football he's ever played. You know, he's come to us from West Brom, he's only ever played under 23 football. And it's, You have it, we have it, you look good, we look good, you know. Um, and he's coming there in a blood and thunder game because that there the balls are getting thrown in the box and he's sticking his head on it and he dealt with everything he he looked comfortable on the ball you know we're not going over the top here we've drawn nil nil at home we're not going over the top what I'm saying is it's a big lift in performance from last week and um, but now as I said against Linfield we have to maintain that because Tuesday's a massive game strange game today with, with no fans allowed to the ground yeah and not allowed in the half time how did these cope with that I was disappointed we weren't allowed in half time. I watched Dungannon last night on television against Coleraine. They went in, so it seems to be one rule for some clubs and some don't. Um, the science behind it shows that 
you need to keep your core temperature up your body and that's why you go in at half time otherwise we'd all just play on the park and it's you know we've a duty of care to these players and I'm making them sit out on a December day I'm not sure it's great or idea look we have to deal with it um, we'd already looked at that prior to the week and I asked Chrissy Wright could he come in and, and take the boys for, for a second warm up to build us up because I felt um, all season we've not started the second half great I think we've started the first half really well and the second half not so well so he done a little bit of work in there as well as the subs because they need to make an impact so they need to be ready um, and I thought we came out really came out of the blocks at the beginning of the second half and we, and we camped in their half for a good period and they looked a lot sharper so if I'm doing that my science behind it in terms of how I'm going to get the best from my players somebody higher than me has to look at the science of keeping injury prevention down to a minimal and that means they need to be in a warm area inside the game and I don't care about anything else because if we're getting changed people in then we're socially distanced why would we not be socially distanced that half time there's no there's no science behind somebody's decision today to make that they've just went no and they can't give me an answer to why and I, I'll, I'll be demanding an answer on Monday because you can't come to me at I think it was 20 to 3 me and Davey we were stood down there and we were going in and then we were told no we can't I'm, I can't accept that I had to accept it today because otherwise it was, it was too much messing about prior to kick off but going forward they need to give me a a scientific reason why I can't go in when I've already been in. If they say no, never, I can deal with that. Moving on to Tuesday night, the Dungannon team came off a really impressive performance against Coleraine, so it's going to be a tough, a tough encounter. It was a really impressive result for them, wasn't it? They, um, we watched it, both David and myself sat and watched it, took our notes. You know, it's difficult because it's Friday and we want to concentrate on this game and we don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves. We know, you know that they're a good team similar to ourselves probably you know young they'll, they'll work hard and they get around the pitch and you know Daniel Hughes is, is a threat up front Michael Carvel so we know what to expect there we have to be ready for it you know tight pitch we'll go if we go and deliver a performance and an effort like that I can stand after every game and, and say you know I'm happy enough it's when we don't deliver the manner that I sh think that we should so you know we'll be expecting goals on, on Tuesday get back into the heat now Yep, my call temperature. Keep it up. Well, thank you. Cheers.